Today I have with me the most sought after and arguably two of the best foldable phones available to buy today in my opinion. Yes, I'm talking about none other than the Honor Magic V2 and the OnePlus Open which has surprised a lot of us. How? Let's find out. This is Half Year and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't done so, please do make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. So without testing your patience further, let's get started. Let's talk about the speakers. I feel the biggest difference by big margin, I mean literally in a big margin is in the speaker department. So let's talk about that. This time around they are a bit different. Two stereo speakers versus three Dolby Atmos enhanced speakers. You can see where I'm going from here. Here is a sample of the output. So after hearing the sample, I feel the speaker quality from both are, are really good. However, I am definitely, I mean definitely leaning towards the OnePlus Open as far as the speaker is concerned because they sound more bassier and more crisper than the Honor. So let me know in the comments below from the output which you have heard, which speaker do you personally prefer? Do you prefer the, the audio coming out from the OnePlus Open or would you prefer the volume coming out from the Honor Magic V2? Let me know in the comments below and yes not to forget the letterbox this is present in any foldable phone due to the aspect ratio that said viewing content in both the phones are pretty good let's start with the design of both the phones so on one end we have the honor magic v2 and on the other end we have the oneplus open so as far as the design of the honor magic v2 is concerned it's got a very nice smooth frosted glass back as far as the oneplus open is concerned it's got a vegan leather back which i personally love let me know in the comments below which of these designs would you prefer? Would you rather prefer a glass bag or would you rather prefer a leather bag? Let me know. Moving on, both the Honor Magic V2 and the OnePlus Open have got three camera setup. However, on the Honor, it has got a 2.5x of periscope zoom. When compared to the OnePlus Open, it has got a 3x zoom, but it's also got a 6x of hybrid zoom. The pictures taken from both look absolutely stunning and both the front screen have got a different aspect ratio. The Honor has got a 6.43 inches of front screen when compared to the 6.31 inches which you get with the OnePlus Open. Best part of these phones are when you actually using them, the front screen, they work absolutely the same way as you use in any candy bar style phone. You will not find any difference at all. Talking about the screen, especially the front screen, Honor has got a slight curve to the edges whereas the OnePlus Open has got a flat screen. Some prefer a curved screen some prefer a flat screen so let me know which one do you prefer do you prefer a slightly a curved edges or would you prefer a flat screen moving on as far as the hinges go both are well made and can hold or close at any given angle and as you can see from a different angles how slim they are and both close completely completely flat. However, Honor's standout feature is a slimless. I still can't get my head around like how have they made such a slim phone. It's absolutely mind-boggling the way Honor's built so slim. When you keep them both side by side, you can actually see the Honor has got a taller and a wider front display, but it's a slightly shorter front screen in the OnePlus Open. Both have got the front facing selfie cameras. Moving on, the Honor houses a two stereo speakers, whereas the OnePlus Open has got a three stereo speakers, the top and the bottom. Both close completely flat without any gaps in the middle and that's how they look and as, as you can see how slim they are. Both of them are absolutely slim. When you lay them flat, OnePlus Open seems to be raised from the surface. That is purely due to the huge camera bump at the rear. I mean the camera bump is an eyesore to be honest with you. While talking about the displays, both Honor and OnePlus Open have done an 
excellent job in the display both the inner and the outer screen. Both have got an OLED screens with the 7.92 inches versus 7.82 inches which you get with the OnePlus Open. Both the displays are absolutely stunning to look at. Both have got very bright displays. However, the peak brightness of the OnePlus Open is much higher when you compare to the Honor. As you can see, both work absolutely buttery, buttery smooth when viewing and the screens are very bright. So viewing them outdoors will be of absolutely no issues at all. The software experience is actually good in both phones. However, I quite like the software experience in the OnePlus Open as it's got more features, especially the multitasking which you get with the OnePlus Open is absolutely spot on. And I feel in the folding market, OnePlus Open has got the best multitasking experience. The UI is easy to navigate without any lags and this is how they look when they are open. Both open completely flat at 180 degrees. Both the displays are stunning to look at when you're watching content. The image quality is absolutely sharp and crisp and gives you a great detail when watching content. Since these are foldable phones, you cannot escape the inner crease. It is visible in both the phones, which you can see in different angles when light hits them, but not too disturbing when the screen is on. However, the OnePlus Open has got an anti-reflective screen protector, which masks most of the glare. And also, the crease in the OnePlus Open is less pronounced when you compare it with the Honor Magic V2. Both phones houses the latest Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor, which makes the phone very fast in day-to-day -day life. OnePlus Open runs on the latest Oxygen OS and Honor Magic on the Magic OS. Biggest difference between these two are the Honor uses the Chinese ROM, which has its limitations, whereas the OnePlus Open has got a global launch and it runs on the global ROM. That said, all apps work absolutely fine, which includes includes the banking apps, Google Wallet. Some have asked before, does the Android Auto work? Android Auto does not work in any Chinese ROM phones from my experience. So in this scenario, no, the Honor Magic V2 does not work with the Android Auto. From performance side, both are absolutely fluid in scrolling through content and never had any issues in lags or jitters. Both are absolutely solid in that aspect. So to conclude, having used both the phones, comparing the battery life of both both the phones both have got an excellent battery life i would say like seven ish hours of screen on time which is actually very good for a folding phone that said both will last you all day without any issues even if you are a medium to high high user both don't feel that heavy even though oneplus open is heavier than the honor you actually won't notice it it's purely due to the very good weight distribution and also the build quality is absolutely solid both are solid foldable phones in my opinion and one of the best foldable available in the market. I like them both. That said, they are certainly not perfect by any means. They've got a lot of room for improvements. Both the phones lack wireless charging, which is quite annoying to some people. Is it a deal breaker? Well, I certainly don't think it is, but it would have been nice if they had a wireless charging. However, the hardware wise, both are kind of similar apart from the cameras when the Honor has got a 2.5x of optical zoom when compared with the uh, OnePlus Open, which has got a 3x and a 6x zoom as far as software is, is concerned software is absolutely refined in the oneplus open and is also available globally both are solid phones and you will not be disappointed in either of them however the winner between these two phones to me personally is na 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 this time i am not going to say it i will let you be the judge of it so this time you be the judge and tell me which one of these is your pick and which one according to you is the winner and do make sure you subscribe for the latest tech videos until next time stay curious and embrace innovations. Thank you.